I don't understand what brought this one here. You understand? Bad things are happening inside my house. That's why I feel angry. I feel bad to come to them to live in one room. The curtain that divides the bedroom and the sitting room, the kitchen. I don't know you, you know that situation. Hey, happy people, good people. Hey, welcome to Samok Safaris. Welcome to, to, from Africa. I welcome you all. You welcome to this channel of ours. Today is a good day. Today is a bright day. You can see in Africa, it's almost, it's always sunny. It's sunny. The sunlight is all over. Uh, during in the evening, that's when we expect the rain because we have uh, sun in the morning and the evening we have the rain. This is the weather from our place. So what are we having, guys, today? Before that, I want to wish you, if you're sick, I want to pray for you, become okay. I want to pray for you, you, be, you, you get out of bed, I know. But I guess all of you are okay. You're watching from Africa. You're all welcome. And I can say in Swahili, karibuni sana. And if you're watching from uh, the white people from America, uh, England, India, wherever, I can say uh, welcome to our channel because this is what we have today. Today I have another story. It's a, a story of mine. Actually, it's something that you can see from the background there. It tells you more about this. Uh, this house you see behind here, this house uh, started building, it was started to be built uh, 2020. 2020, that's when this house uh, was established. Uh, during the corona uh, period, during that time, uh, we had to stop to construct this house because we ran out of uh, finances. So that's what I can say. But today I have decided to come and see what is going on in this house. So we stopped everything that we had, we stopped. And I can tell you guys, this was my dream house. I wanted this to be my home, to be my house. But due to finances, I dropped. Since that time, have never collected the money, enough money just to construct this house. I was raised by my mother, my single mother. And we never had a plot. We never had somewhere we could say it's our place. So we used to live in a rental house. So in Africa, the moment you don't have a place to live by, you say that you don't own a plot, you're living in a rental house. Most of people in Africa, they take you to be as a poor person. So that means we were poor. But I did all I could so that I can raise something. I could have to could have something. And I at least to move out of rental houses. So in Africa, it's not something, it's, it's something serious. You need to own a plot. You need to own a land. It's a must. It doesn't matter it's going to give you losses or to give you profits. What matters is that you need to own land. So, and that was my dream when I was young. I used to say, to tell even my parents that one day I will take you out of these rental houses. So I did all my best and I read something and my grandmother also helped me. So I acquired this land here. So you can see maybe for you it's going to be something small. But as for me, I can say that this is my dream place because if I can see where I come from and whatever I have right now, it's a dream come true. Because to own a two-bedroom house for us and saying this house is mine, it's not something small, man. You got to be serious. This is what you used to dream. Everybody, even just everyone saying, man, congratulations, congratulations. Because we lived in rental houses in, our, in the room where we used to pay 1,000 Kenyan shillings. Every month you pay 1,000 Kenyan shillings. It's one room. It's not one bedroom. It's one room. A one room, that means inside there you divide a curtain that divides the bedroom and the sitting room. You understand that situation? That what was. So the moment to say that your dream is coming to, is, has come true, guys, we have different dreams. For us, that's our dream. So this is what all we have. From this, maybe, God willing, we're going to have something, inshallah. We're going to have some. From this, we might have more. You understand? But for this, I appreciate God more. I say, alhamdulillah, because that's what I can tell you. We have come from somewhere. 
until the act to this place here we are somewhere so uh, i'm trying all i can just to raise this house to make sure i'm trying to do i'm doing all my hustles every day trying to do what i can just to raise this house and then to get friends as well to do some help because if you get friends who can just boost you a little bit to donate something so that you can at least do your house you keep you make this house look good because we had we are doing we are really hustling we are really trying to make something good we are really trying to make ourselves to change our lives because we have kids right now we all trying to make this make a difference so for us it's our dream we are very happy me and my family i'm saying i'm telling you we have changed lives right now we are not going to say that now we are poor we not, i'm not poor i cannot say that i'm poor i can say life has changed for me from single room to owning a two bedroom this is a dream come true because at least we are say something has changed for us and we thank god for that and still more to come and i appreciate god so so today i will be taking you through this house and you see uh, my dream and how i wanted this to be so guys this is all about me this was my dream house i constructed 2020 so up to now it has like 4 years without any mason or any fundi to touch it so it's been here in swahili we call it imeka kama gofu you see it's like now it's like a museum now because we don't have finances to to construct it but i've just come today just to see if i can do something because someone advised me and told me that not you it's not necessary you have all the money so that you can start building your house you can start small by small today you do this to do this and this is what have come today to do so let me take you through my house as you can see this is the outside here so for four years down the line so many things has happened you can see this was my house and still is my house but something bad happened and then this were the windows this the the window the small window the toilet and this is the the main window uh, from the sitting room and then this was this is this my plan was this to be the main door but you can see for years down the line something bad has happened people are just trying to to destroy my house until now but let me go and say see outside here what is happening you can see this is the house and outside here let me go just fast inside so uh you can see billahi minash shaitan rajim bismillah so uh you see they are destroying this one see this was the door this was my kitchen it was a small kitchen i had planned this one to be the door here but you can see they have destroyed it and you can see they are putting cows they are bringing the cows inside here i don't know what to do to graze what since i don't have grasses here you see this is it this was my kitchen and still is going to be my kitchen when i start to collect the money this is going to be my kitchen so you see the people's faces but let's not let us not mind this you see these guys are destroying my house because i don't have power to reconstruct it you see even the door the door now is not looking like the main door people are just doing what they called i don't know they are trying to mess with me you understand and this is the sitting room here the sitting room is big like this you can see the sitting room yeah and this i have this uh this bricks here uh, this bricks are mainly to construct the outside there you can see these guys are also trying to do this they are messing my house they are messing my room this is my kitchen so this was supposed to be this this supposed to be uh the the, the sitting room eh? and this one here was the dining this was the dining you can see here we have this one is dividing it yeah it was not complete you see the house now is very dirty because 
there's no there's no way I can do it. This is my bedroom now. This is supposed to be my bedroom. You can see my bedroom. So many bad things are happening inside here. Audhu billahi min shaitan rajim. You see, even the horn, the household, you can see. I don't understand what brought this one here. You understand? Bad things are happening inside my house. That's why I feel angry. I feel bad to come and see this is what has been happening in behind doors. You understand? You can see like this one. This might have, can hurt someone. When someone maybe comes inside here during the night, this can hurt him. So, and this was, my goodness. Look at this. It seems someone is sleeping inside here. How come this one is clean inside here? Someone is sleeping here. You see? This is my, my toilet. You see? So this is, my bed, this is my bedroom. And I built a spacious bedroom because I have a bigger bed. I love bigger beds. So I thought this bed of mine could fit inside here. So these guys, they have destroyed it. My house, they're trying to mess, trying all they could. They're trying all they can they, so that they can mess up with my house. I don't know it's because they are sick. There's no one responsible for this. But I think it's because I don't have money right now. So this one is there. It cool, looks, looks very messy. You understand? And this, I built this mainly for my kids. When they grow up, they will be sleeping inside here. You can see it's also messy. They have just messed up with it. So, you see? So, it was not complete. As you can see, this is very messy. So, this is my house, guys. You can see? I don't, I can say I'm very bitter about this. You understand? So, I'm going to hold that plan. And this is outside here. This is outside. You can see? That's how it looks like. You see. So it's the boundary here. This is the boundary. And here, this is where I built. This is where I wanted my borehole to be. The well. Kisima. You can see. This is a hole. You can't see inside there. This is my Kisima. This is my well. So that's why I had planned and I still have the plan of using this, the water. And then when I get mother as well, I'm going to, to get water from Igori, Igori water so that I can, uh, because there is still registration going on, I will be going to their offices, I register. You can see now, this is my house from up there. On the other hand, you can see, I also had stones, these stones here, this I call a hardcore foundation when you're doing foundation. As well, you can see here, I also had planted uh, the maize. These are the maize. I planted maize and beans because when I live here, I don't want to buy. I don't want to buy maize because I have the small, a small shamba here. I can, I can plant my maize and have it because it's going to be used for domestic. I don't want to, to buy, buy things. And this, when I, at the moment, I have this small land here. So you can see, this is very big. Let me walk you through. This is my, my shamba here. Yeah. So in, in, it's in this, it's kind of, kind of big. So this farm here is, is mainly for domestic. But when I, really, I'm, I move to this place, I'll be using this uh, as well to, to do poultry as well. I want to keep hands here. You see? So, this one comes up to here. Up to here. So, when I stand here, you can see where my house is. The plot is big, so uh, I want to do something because uh, so whoever wants to support this can do, can help this guy from Africa to do something about himself. It's not that we are, we are lazy, but uh, it's because sometimes our hands are very short. You can see. 
Uh, again, there is something I want to address to tell you. So this is it. So the farm is big. So I want to divide this farm. My plans are to divide this so that I can use it for to plant uh, vegetables and as well to keep hands to do poultry so that uh, I'll be doing some savings because no one wants to stay stagnant. So that's how it is. So this plot of mine as well, someone has come to me as they, I mean, because I've been missing for a while. The person has come and said, I extended my house to his plot. And I want to show you, see, is it normal? <laughs> because when you see someone is not around, don't just invade someone's plot because you think that guy is not coming to come. I'm not dead already, but someone has tried to, to, to mess up with me. You see, let me show you. This guy has come and they put the fence, this is his fence, and has dug some hole here, indicating this plot is his. So this is, I've come and signed and found this is a small dispute. I don't know how I'm going to address this dispute. But uh, as for me, I don't, I don't think it's a big deal for me because it's a small issue. I have all the papers for this plot. Huh? have all the papers so nothing is going to worry me out guys that's my house i'm trying to save something trying to sink something next time when i come back here you're going to see something good happening so we are going to change this look of a house and then i still have the plan of this house you can see i'm at my room uh, i thought maybe i would be in this room in 2021 but it couldn't be the way I thought, but now this changed up to 2024. Hopeful things are going to change, not to do it. If God willing things to be okay, I'll be migrate to this house in 2024. If not so, 2025, no problem. But inshallah, this one, I'm going to move this house 2024. So guys, if you feel like you want to donate um, at least to help me, just to boost my dream you're welcome you're welcome so that you can boost each other uh, as well no, not must you donate something you can as well advise me on what to do on what to to make uh, how to make this house uh, look more uh, beautiful because we want to show people that from this small here we can do something I appreciate everyone guys as well i want to help to ask ask you to subscribe to my channel Subscribe to my channel so that I can still move as well to, to, to a thousand subscribers so that I can move or I can make these dreams of mine come true. It's my dream. It's our dream. Also, we can let each other enjoy ourselves. One love. I thank you guys. Till next time, when I get finances, I'm going to also to do the series of a house, this house, so that we can make this house look good. Yeah? At least my kids to enjoy I don't want to, them to live in one room. The curtain that divides the bedroom and the sitting room, the kitchen. Have, I don't know you, you know that situation. In Africa, there's a situation. There are people who are living in the city. They live in that house. One room is divided like into four. There is a kitchen. There is bedroom. There is sitting room. It's everything. You walk inside that room. You do everything, you see, like in a three bedroom. The only prop, the only something that changed, the washroom, the latrine is outside. That's when you're gonna go outside. But everything is happening inside there. So guys, we have life, we have good things. We need to change our life because no one wants to stay there. We have families, we want to change things in our lives. We come from poor family, but we know that we are not going to stuck there. We are not stuck there. We are not going to learn that we were born like that. No, we are not uh, complacent with what we have. At least we need to change our lives and the people's lives to make things okay. So this is Africa from Hispania, from Kenya, from the village here. So guys, I appreciate for you keep guys who are watching my channel. At least you're making good, good move so that you can help this channel.
to work. Salute everyone who is doing this. I can tell you, Koma Sava. Welcome to Africa. Welcome to Kenya. Good things happening. I love you. Much love. One thing, one love. Good day.